Okay. Uh, let's recap a bit, shall we? This was meant to be a new start, really. A perfect world. Free from all the evil that had corrupted each and every corner of the known and unknown universe. It was going to be a place of safety for the kids. The little yous. You little... Well, so far, so good. But things started to go wrong soon after you arrived. Now, I can understand your initial shock coming face to face with Maxis, especially after so long. But you did the right thing. You followed the plan. You brought the summoning. What have I done? <laughs> Stop it, Edward. Breathe. It's okay. Maxis! I will arm myself. Perhaps for the last time. has nothing to do with me. I can promise you that. Death is your only release. Embrace it! Where is he? Where is Dr. Monty? He will help us, just as Max has promised. Disaster. We can still set things right. The blood vials will protect me. That explosion is very bright. Makes my eyes tingle. Ah, nostalgia. It really isn't what it used to be. Hello? 
Dr. Monte, I'm ready for more ammo. I do prefer to remain nimble on my feet, even if it means suffering the indignity of ammo depletion. I prefer not to linger around here, unless it's absolutely necessary. Things are seriously out of whack. Business as usual, I suppose. Anyway, I'm having a bit of a heated debate with the old shadow man and his apothecon pals. And it's making it really hard to keep this reality stable. I mean, honestly, look at it. It's practically held together with tape and bits of string. the big ones, of course. The theater. I readily admit that I myself have a certain flair for the theatrical. Oh, 
Maybe today won't be so bad after all. Bullets. How did this happen? All right, I wasn't being careful. Breathe, Edward. Remember what's important. Wait, what is important? Oh, right, that. Mm -hmm. That comes later. Try not to think about all the terrible things that went on here. Yeah? It's not pleasant. Your demise is imminent. There was only one, albeit regrettable, ending for you, my boy. Dr. Monty. In retrospect, it probably wasn't the best idea to leave the most powerful artifact in this or any other dimension just lying on the fucking table. But in all fairness, Maxis was a bit of a wild card. I mean, you remember he was actually just a little drone the last time you saw him. Anyway, he's in the summoning key now. I think if I know how we're gonna get him out.
You know I sometimes feel guilty about Sammy. But then I remember, it wasn't really me. Bring them to them. Many dreams whilst in these trenches. I say dreams, but really they were more like visions. Starting with the one where Maxis begged me to remove his brain. the above? It's the correct use of violence. The pack-a-punch machine will be returned to us. You know, you guys have really grown up. And to be honest, I really didn't like you much at the start. I can't even remember if I went back to give myself the blood vials. Surely I did. After all this is over, I think I'm going to become a pacifist. Probably not, but maybe. He 
doesn't understand you. I do. I've once dreamt of such explosions. Perhaps soon I will see my very last. I have been watching. I have seen each and every one of your misdeeds. I know who you are. But questions remain. Why do you do the things you do? What is it that you hope to achieve? Do you not see the futility of your tiny, insignificant existence? You are but fragments of a bigger universe. possible we all pay for our insolence give me the strength to do what must be done
I will bounce them clean out of this reality if I can. <laughs> As is so often the way, the box departs at the worst time. <laughs> Accept defeat. The 
As if things weren't bad enough. I'm struggling to maintain my presence. Bloody Shadow Man. Not At least he's on his own boat. How are things going besides all that? Hmm? Making any progress? Bollocks. I'm phasing out again. Okay, I think I've found a way to talk to you. Given all the shit hitting the fan, there's not much I can do other than give you a bit of encouragement. How about I give you some facts? Little ones, quick ones, pun ones. It'll be good for the round. The Panzer Soldat will fight to the death.
is now an inevitability. when we will need the extra cash. Probably very soon. Honestly, if you could see just what was going on outside your realm of perception, it would blow your minds. That's the main reason I kept it back. If I were to give you an analogy, I'd describe it like this. When a duck swims on the water, you only see it glide. Apparently, effortlessly, across the lake. But underneath, as in beneath the surface, it's a whole different story. Its legs are moving like he's pedaling a fucking bicycle up a mountain. Well, that's me right now. I am that duck. this before. Yeah, just now, right before I picked it up. That's definitely not sitting well. I feel tingly, just a little. You still believe you can actually throw on me? I could teach you something. Now I just want you to die!
I feel tingly. Just a little. Right, here we go. It's a bit like, uh, the news is. I mean, reading it on television. Sorry, rambling. You should see what the Shadow Man's doing back here. Uh, okay. Apparently, Richthoven has a problem with nuts. Make of that what you... One, one, five. How such a little thing has caused so many problems. Calm yourself, Lord. I will get to you soon enough. It's loud, Kras, who takes a long time to get anything done. But enough of our Dempsey! It's the kill! <laughs> the morgue shall be very busy this evening. Precision, Edward. Precision is key. Unless I just get a new weapon. <laughs> Okay, this is too 
weight of this physical burden almost matches the psychological one. the orphanage, Edward told everyone his dad was a famous scientist. They scrawled, Teddy is a liar, on the school. I have come too far to turn back now. Completely numb, physically. Edward doesn't like spicy food. His brain gets distracted. Bad things happen. One day they will tell stories of my brain. to an end. For you, it'll be my Richthofen's favorite song is My Way. He wonders when he will get to sing it. We will prevail, despite your greater numbers. As the war falls, we edge ever closer to victory. Just let the tentacle slap your butt, Helschbon! You'll get used to it after a while! Let's get this over with, shall we? Not too quick. I still want you to suffer. I take it you're interested in one of the Bloody lemon! Thought you were going to let me bleed 
to death. It was so sad. Oh, that's definitely not sitting well. It's too much information sometimes, know what I mean? I know you must be struggling to take it all in, but can you imagine how I feel? I've got heartfelt prayers for the angels, dying people's wish lists and letters to fucking Santa coming out of my bleeding ears. And it is hard to keep up, honestly. I hardly ever get any time for myself, or even just time to stand back and appreciate all the good that I've done. I've got the bloody shadow man and the apothecary cons throwing an intergalactic spanner in the works. Thank <laughs> you. 